Hey guys, um, I'm going to talk about a, this is a video I made for myself several years ago. Um, this particular subject, uh, that video is is not fit for public consumption. Yeah, hopefully, this one will be. I was reminded of this by this YouTube channel that I watch very regularly, uh, Break from Life. He's a he's a snooker guy, and and he's a better snooker player than I am a pool player. I'm pretty convinced of that. And he seems to study this kind of stuff at least as much as I do. So he's he's like a nerd, like I am, which is which is cool. What I'm gonna talk about is things when when you're off. And you're like, okay, how do you how do you tweak your stuff? How do you, you know, in some cases flat out lie to myself? How do I get back on track kind of easily and quickly? Most of these things do not last. But they're not really meant to last. I think an example he was talking about, uh, this shot here is straight in. I don't know if his example was perfectly straight in, but it was close. And he was talking about, he would shoot, if he was shooting it, and he knows he was missing the pocket to the left, like that, what that really means is, he's hitting the object ball further to the right than he wants. So he's cutting the object ball to the left. Uh, I think that probably makes sense. And I think he talked about the other example. If he's missing to the right, missing the object ball to the right, which I kind of did, I kind of cheated the pocket, then that means he's hitting, hitting the object ball too far to the left. And he was just talking about a, a tweak tweaks that he can do for that and one of them was he can move his left foot forward or backward now you guys can't see my left foot i don't believe but use your imagination left foot forward left foot back and that was this is a big time exaggeration if you could see it but just moving that foot forward a little bit and then remaining comfortable hell a lot of the snooker players don't look very comfortable to a lot of pool players, I don't at least not to me. But moving your, your left foot forward a little bit, as long as you go ahead and get balanced again and all that, it's gonna twist your hips, it's gonna twist your whole body, it's gonna line everything up a little bit differently. Move your left foot back, same thing. I in the past have done pretty much accomplish the same thing, but not by moving my left foot, by rotating my right foot on the ball of my foot is on the shot line. That I want, and that can rotate it counterclockwise, which twists my whole body, or clockwise, which twists my whole body. If I do that first, then and then I get into a proper balanced stance. My my shot line is going to be tweaked just a little bit, based on what direction my right foot is pointing. It's the same kind of a deal. One of the issues with 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 this is a lot of times you don't know that you're off until you've already missed. And when you've already missed, you don't often know, okay, is this is this gonna be a thing for the whole day or for my entire life? Or did I just happen to miss that shot to the left? If I just happen to miss a shot to the left and I go trying to tweak it and all that, I can make things worse. I can make things worse. So you have to watch that kind of thing. Another one of the things that I've had to do in my life here is I've noticed since I got the LASIK that what looks to me like center ball on the cue ball is really just a little bit to the right, eighth of an inch to the right. And sometimes that doesn't matter. I play a lot of bank pole and it does matter in cases like that. So what I've had to do you might not even be able to see this. If I'm going to use an open bridge, I just got into the habit that open bridge, move my thumb, lift this thumb up even further to move this over, to move my tip to the left. If I'm using a closed bridge, then I drop this finger a little bit to move my tip to the right. To get me back in line, whichever direction I have to move this tip in, if I notice, hey, there's something weird going on, I'm putting spin on the ball when I don't want to, 
I can tweak it with that. But a lot of times it doesn't last, again. A lot of times it's just because I was screwed up on one shot, and then I went to fix that problem when it wasn't really a problem, or it was just a one-time deal. Yeah, I'm gonna actually put this ball in for once in my life. So, yeah, that, I mean, that, that can work. You can, you can kind of lie to yourself, make, give little tricks to yourself to get yourself in alignment, but I think they're really only good if it's a, like a permanent thing. If you just happen to miss the ball to the left, I don't think that means you got to work to fix that and don't do that anymore. But if it becomes a habit and you're systematically doing it, then, yeah, you can, you can work on it. Even then, you got to kind of watch. I have, a, I have a shot where, let me put these in. I have a situation, if I'm elevated, I go over another ball, over a rail. If I'm elevated, I tend to have balls, I tend to miss object balls to the left of where I want to hit it, which means I tend to hit the object ball to the right of where I want to hit it. And that is something that's been going on with me for years and years and years and years and years. I've kind of decided, you know what? I can't wait for this to fix itself. I can't wait for it to fix itself. If I have this 12, and I'm going to shoot an elevator. I'm going to shoot a stop shot. Straight in the corner. And elevate I ten to miss this 12 to the left. So I've had to I've had to lie to myself about it. I have to shoot this 12 at this point. And up here, my inner pool player and my alignment and everything are telling me, hey, yeah, you're going to miss this ball to the right, Dave. You idiot. But meanwhile, it goes, you know, ideally straight in the hawk, it goes right in, ideally. But I'm aiming it, and everything feels like I'm going to miss it to the right. Like that. See, did I ever mention that pulls like, pull balls like to make liars out of me? If this just magically fixed itself simply because I'm talking to the camera, A, that would be cool, and B, that would really be horrible timing. Same deal, same deal, same deal. That was more like what's supposed to happen. Again, I ended that point on my right. That's something that maybe someday, some year, that will fix itself. I won't have to lie to myself anymore and, and, and tell myself, aim to miss, because my, my stance and my stroke and all that are so screwed up, I'm actually going to make the shot. Um, eventually, I may not have to do that. With this elevated stuff, I still have it. It has been several years. It just hasn't. It hasn't fixed itself yet. Usually, I get a shot. I had, well, actually, it was about the same shot I did first year. I had this shot a couple of days ago. And I was doing that Federer's drill. I did a, a video about that. And this is one of my one of the last balls. And I had. This is, this is a straight in shot on the one right now. I had the shot, and I missed it between 10 and 185 times in a row. Exactly the same way. I hit it right here, here. After I stopped laughing at myself and how much I sucked, I thinking, okay, my old inner pool player, Obi Wan Moscone, I call him. He had to figure that shit out. Because every time I shot, it looked right, or it looked like I was adjusting for this error I have to, to, to put it to the left. And it still went left, 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 left. It, like I said, it was it was funny and sad. You kind of did a cried so hard that you started laughing type of thing, I guess. What I ended up having to do with this, I didn't I didn't start shooting the ball here, thinking, okay, that'll put it in the pocket, like I do with the elevated shots, because I, I wasn't elevated on the shot. I'm not hampered at all on this shot. This was not a, this was not a problem with the table being in my way or being stretched out or anything like that. This was just me getting in the wrong alignment somewhere, and I didn't want to fix it. I didn't want to fix it. 
and then cause the exact opposite problem down the road. So I just kept shooting it, shooting it, shooting it, shooting it. And eventually got to the point where my inner pool player, once again, forgetting how to make it, said, no, I'm going to miss it again. That makes me mad. I didn't miss a shot in three days until I turned on the camera. Since I did the stuff I was telling you about, since I figured it out and got my got my, uh, my inner, inner pool player back calibrated or whatever. Y'all know what I'm saying. I'm not demonstrating it, but I never do demonstrate stuff very well when I'm talking anyway. I have to watch really closely. I believe I mentioned this in a recent video. I have to watch really closely because I don't, I don't have good depth perception. Is this a straight shot or is it a cut? This shot right here is a very, very slight cut to my right. I think I could make it if I hit it straight. But I, I would also brush the left point on the way down. I still think I can make it, but it is a very slight cut. And that's the kind of knowledge that, because I like to play by feel, that I need. That means, I mentioned in the video recently, if it is a very slight cut, I'm pivoting the damn ball. And I generally don't. But if I try to use ghost ball on a shot like this, the ghost ball and the 12, they're, they're really overlapping quite a bit. I have a, more of a problem seeing the ghost ball than, than I otherwise would. So I have to pivot this ball. To force myself to cut into the pocket. And that's that might be the video. Uh, it really doesn't seem like there was something else. I remember, I remember having a deal a million years ago when I was basically first starting to play pool. And I noticed on shots like this where I'm elevated, I was pivoting on the ball on my right foot. At the time, I didn't think of it as that. I thought of it as I move my right heel this way or I move my right heel this way. But it's the same deal. I was still pivoting on the ball on my right foot. And that was it was always about being elevated and causing, causing something to happen when I'm elevated. Um, I don't think whatever shot line I'm in right here, it's not the same line, the cue doesn't follow the same line if I elevate. It's just been stored from theory. I haven't fired up the camera at 60 frames per second, figured it all out. I just look at it and, and see what, what do I have to do if I'm elevated. And that means I have to tweak my aim. One other way that I can tweak my aim, but I don't, I just have in the past. I talked before about what I call finding a balance point. Uh, on the wrap, you know, getting down on a shot, I'm, I'm, I'm finding a balance point right here. I've always called it that. In reality, it's also finding that neutral point that I've talked about. But there is a definite relationship between the length of my bridge and where I want to grip this. I don't want it to be like this. I don't want it to be like this. These are exaggerations. But what I've found is if I move this hand forward of that balance point, I tend to hit balls a little bit more to the right than I otherwise would. If I move this hand this way, in relation to that balance point, I tend to hit balls to the left. It's a little tweak. It's kind of like twisting the right foot or moving the left foot forward. It's so just a little tweak that you don't want to do forever because then you got the opposite problem you gotta deal with. You gotta tweak back in the other direction or whatever. This is my opinion. But in my case, I don't I don't use the grip position to tweak my shot. I always I always try these days to get there's a cat to get uh, the right grip position that is you know, what I what I just call the balance point. Balance point and neutral point, they kind of mean the same thing, but the balance point definitely has a relationship with my bridge one. If, if I'm all hampered or for whatever reason I felt like bridging over here, this is a different balance point than if I'm going to bridge up close. Different. 
And I think that's important so for this this latest style that I've been doing, this physical stuff I've been doing, it's based on one of the best players in the world, Barry Gors. Um, yeah, it's very important to have that proper release. Now, after me saying all that crap, this is another, again, a very slight cut. My right, pivot the ball in, stroke straight, blah, blah, blah. It's neat when balls go in. When balls don't go in, you're like, man, you suck. Why are you making a video? I think that's it. So, Newbie hasn't been on TV nearly enough. This is Newbie. The kittens are usually on more than Newbie is. But there she is. I like yours. Yeah, people care. I'm just kidding. All right. Bye, guys.